Hey guys, I went on my YouTube channel and was reading some comments to try to get inspired on what video I should film for you next. And a lot of you said an exercise ball video for abs and obliques and legs and whatever else you can do with an exercise ball. Unfortunately, I was unable to blow it up. Bye. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Roll the shoulders back. Let's just take your toes front. Walk your feet in together. You're gonna lift your arms up, squeeze them back, front and lower down. Lift, open, front and lower down. Now as you lift your arms in front of you, I want you to pop your heels. Pop, open, down. You take a pop, open, down. So only pop your heels and drop them down. Close and front. Pop the heels, drop them down. Exactly, four more here. Take it four. When you lift, draw the belly in. Good, two more here. Take it two, drop. Last one, drop. And just take the arms up, in, out. Now when the arms go up, in, out. Let's lift up, in, out. Heels lift, you take it up, drop the heels. Out, four more, you take it four. Good, three. Squeeze the knees together, two, squeeze back. Last one, hold it up, heels together. Pulse down and down, your knees are together, your tailbone is long, belly is in, arms are front, take it four. Final three, final two, hold it, three, two, and rest. Beautiful job, kick back your legs a little bit. You're gonna take your legs out to second position, draw down the tailbone, open up your chest, palms are open. I wanna see the inside of your arm. Start to pulse down into your plie, shoulders over hips, and you wanna think of your knees going wide. You don't wanna collapse your legs in, so really open up. As you pulse, you're gonna to start to take a curl up and down. So we're working those inner thighs, well, inner part of your quads, we're working your arms, Lifting and lowering through your biceps. Take it up and down. Take it up and down. Up and down. That's it. Give me 20. Can we do it? For 10. 10. 9. 9. Good. 8. 8. 7. A little deeper now. 7. Final 6. 6. That means 10 more here. 10. Final nine, final eight, you have seven, six, final five, curl it up, you have four, and three, dig it deep, four, two, and one, and release. Okay, let's do a little traveling, okay? So we're gonna take it down to our second position. Let me move this chair a little bit. We take it out, squeeze up, out, squeeze up. Second, squeeze in. Second, squeeze in. So your shoulders are squeezing behind you, shoulder blades. Your neck is relaxed, your shoulders are working. If this is ever too much for you, you can do one arm and one arm. This is your workout, do what works for you. For four, for three, for two, and one. Now take the elbows in and press them out. Press them out, that's it. Press them out, reach them far, slide your legs for three, for two, and one. Nice job, keep back your legs again, ball your shoulders back. Let's get a little tricep work in there. So hug the elbows tight to your side. Exhale, reach the legs long. Just kidding, reach your arms long and pull them in. Press and pull, press and pull. Making sure your shoulders stay back. Exhaling as you press through, out and out. Now hold both arms. We're gonna do a little run with your arms. So you take it in and in, pressing behind you. One arm goes out, one arm goes in. You switch and switch. Take it, switch and switch. Press, like your arms are running, reach and extend. Up, press up, press up. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, both arms up. This time we're gonna add a rotation. So watch the hands. Palms go up to the sky. You pull, press, and pull. Rotate, twist, that's it. Rotate, press, and open the chest. Rotate, press. Four more here, give me four. Exhale, three, two, hold it up. Now watch the rotation of the palms. They're gonna go this way. So palms are down. 
You curl in, press, curl in, press, curl in, press, long neck in, press, think up and over, reach up and over, that's it, up and over, long arms, you can do this, don't quit on me now, you're almost there, extending through those triceps, press, exhale, press, three more here, three, feel it all through that arm, two, last one, hold, turn your palms back and together, you lower down. You lift up, two, three, and down. Exhale up, two, reach, three, and down. Exhale up, two, three, and down. You got this up, two, three, let's do four more. Up for three, two, one. Again, up for three, two, two more. And you're done, you have up, hold, up, hold, up, hold. Last one, here we go, don't let it go. Hold it up, pulse for four, for three, for two, and one. Awesome, brilliant job. Let's take it out to second position again. Arms up by your side, squeeze back, chest is open. This is gonna be the highest point that you lift your arms. So we're not gonna go all the way up, it's just gonna be here. So let's take it to a plie, and as you press through the heels, squeeze your elbows almost behind you. Up and press, up and press, good, up and press. Lift, so the up and the down with the arms are both very important. It's not only about the push, it's also about the pull of the arms. You think down, you open your chest, you pull from under the armpits, you take it down. Let's start to add the legs, squeeze the inner thighs. Take it, squeeze, take it, squeeze, beautiful. Take it, squeeze, draw the belly and lengthen. Center, both knees bend, squeeze up. Both knees bend to center, squeeze up. Five, four, three, two. Let's hold it center and pulse it to center. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three. Lift up the heels, two, hold. For three, two, and one. Woo. Let's drop down those weights. I'm gonna give you a little plank just to get everything working. So let's get to the back of the mat. Roll down your body, take a breath if you need. Take a couple inhale and exhales. Walk the hands out. Draw the stomach in, press through the palms. Beat your hips width apart and just hold your plank. If you ever need to drop to the knees, you can. But breathe. Let's lift up the right leg, point the toe, and hold, squeeze through that right butt for four, three, two, and switch, lift up the left leg, point through the toe, squeeze through the glute for four, three, two, lower down. Let's take you down to your forearms. Draw the stomach in, hold, pushing through those elbows and breathe. Let's pedal the knees, right and left. Still working the thighs, low abs are engaged, pushing through those elbows, eight, seven, six, four, two, one, hold for three, two, and rest. Woo! All right, you survived the mat work. Now we're gonna take it up to our bar, AKA the chair. You're gonna want a chair. If you don't have a chair around, you can always place your hand on a wall and that would be just fine too. So we're gonna start, you can actually have both hands on the chair or you can have one hand on the chair, it's totally up to you. You're gonna start in releve, so your inner thighs are squeezed together, your knees are together, your toes are together, your shoulders are pulled back. So let's face the chair or one hand on the chair, it's up to you. Heels up. Now you don't wanna lower the heels, you wanna keep them nice and high. You're gonna drive your knees front, squeezing your knees together. Knees together. Your shoulders are over your hips and right over those heels. So it's just those knees that are going front. You wanna make sure your butt's not tucked not sticking out, you wanna pull it in and hold. Beautiful. So, arm can be out if you're in this position or both arms can be on the chair and we're gonna take it down an inch and up or you can place your hand on your hip and up. Now what you wanna think about is your heels not dropping, rather your knees are going front and a little bit front and a little bit up, down and up. You don't wanna strain your legs for this, you wanna keep them nice and bent. And really focus on those inner thighs, squeezing through the knees. Take it down and up. And your back is almost 
let's say you had a wall behind you, you're rubbing your back up and down the wall, up and down. Good. Four more. Three more. Two. Now let's hold it down. Draw the low belly in. Start to clap your knees together. Don't just tap them. Really squeeze, 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 squeeze for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold. Again, up an inch and down. You take it up and down. Again, up an inch and down. Four more. Four and down. For three and down. For two and down. Last one. Let's hold it. Draw the low belly in. Maybe you could take one arm off the bar, add another arm, and just balance here. If you need to drop your heels, you can keep that bend. If not, hold it for eight, seven, start to pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Kick your legs back. That was just a short, nice warm up for your thighs. Now let's take you to a first position. That means your heels are together, shoulders are back over your hips, and you're going to bend your knees. Lift up your heels and drive your heels in together. So again, you can have one arm on the bar or both. And you're just, your heels are just going to be a couple inches off the ground. You're going to take your legs down an inch and up. Down and up. So you're staying nice and deep. Belly is pulled in. Your butt is not sticking out. Just the slightest motion and you will feel your thighs working. Now, as you go down, try to squeeze your heels together and you'll start, you'll start to feel it all through the inner thigh, even all the way up into your butt. So even though it's a little, little movement, you can dig really, really deep into that leg. Down an inch and up. Down an inch and up. Beautiful. Now let's just take a pulse down and down. Down and down. Still lifting tall. Breathing through this. Good. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, hold. Let's start to wrap your knees behind you, drawing your low belly in and out. When you wrap, you're squeezing your legs back and back. So getting kind of the outside of your glute. Take it back and back, back and back. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, squeeze up. So this is not a rest, it is a nice length and squeeze through the thighs and take it down, up, and down, up and down, there you go. Up, keep going, down, squeeze and bend. Squeeze inner thighs, bend. Lengthen through the thighs, down, take it up and down. Nice job, four more here. Three, squeeze, inner thighs, two, squeeze. Now one, let's hold and pulse it down. Beautiful, draw the low belly in, take it low and low. Pulse down and down, hold it. Maybe get an inch deeper hold. Start to wrap the knees back and back. For three, for two, one, hold. Take your arm up, take your other arm up, and you pulse down. This is your finale. Let's reach it. 10, nine, a little deeper. Eight, seven, you have six, five, dig four. Open up those knees. For three, for two, hold it. Three, two, one, and rest. Kicking your legs back. We're gonna give your legs a little break. You're gonna take it down to the mat and we're gonna do a set of push-ups and then get back up to the bar. Let's take it down and up for 10. Here we go, 10. Exhale up, nine, eight, seven. Good work, six, five, four. Exhale up, three, two, and one, hold. We're gonna hold it down and hover for five seconds and push back up. Hold it, five, four, three, Two, one, and press. Let's take it down again for five. Five, four, three, two, one, and press. Two more times, let's add a pulse. Take it five, four, three, two, one, exhale, press. Here we go, again, you take it five, four, three, two, one, press it up, sit back into your heels, and take a stretch, open up your pec muscles, Round your back, curl up, and walk your hands back to your feet. All right, we have our second inner thigh quad series. So this is going to be a hard one, but this is one that I actually really, really love. It's one of my favorites. So you want to start facing your chair. Feet are hips width apart, and turn the toes out. 
ever so slightly. So just pretend I have a chair in front of me. You're going to lift up on your toes, bend your knees, but you want to hinge back. Now the trick here is not arching back, it's actually hinging from the hips so that your hips, your knees, and your shoulders are in one long line. Now hold it there. I'm gonna get out of this position, but I want you to hold. You're gonna feel it in your abs and this part of your thighs. You wanna keep your chest open. Some people like to focus up, some people like to focus front, but I don't want you to arch your back. I want you to hinge and feel your abs engaging. You're gonna start to tuck your butt. So squeeze and squeeze. Again, keep working here when talking through this. So as you're squeezing, you're wrapping your thighs around, you're taking it up, up squeeze, up squeeze. You're crushing your butt. You're opening up your hips and you're taking it back. You're up high in your toes. Your knees are going out just a little. You squeeze and squeeze. Give me 10, nine, eight, good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Now you're up on your heels still and you're squeezing your butt, hips are front. You take your knees down and down, down. Keep going, you have this. Now slide your knees front and front. So you're sliding front, it's almost like your back is going down and down. Really feeling it through the front of your quads. Give me 10 more, 10, nine, this is good. Eight, seven, six, breathe, five, four, three. You have one more set, let's squeeze the butt, tuck up and up. Breathe, tuck and tuck. Wrap the butt around, squeeze your thighs for five, four, three, two, hold. Can you lean back an inch more? Yes, woo! Let's pulse it down and down. Final eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Can you reach your arms off the bar for three, two, and one, woo! Kick your butt, that was awesome. Your thighs should have definitely felt that. Let's get down to the mat. And we have our push-ups with elbow taps. So I'm gonna face you here. We just push and tap. Take it down and tap, that's all. Down and tap the shoulder. Down and tap. Exhale, tap. Exhale, tap. Exhale, tap. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one more. Hold. Let's take it low and pulse for five. Five, three, one, press up. Let's take it down one more time, pulse for five. Five, three, one, press up. Sit back into your heels, take a breath. Stretch out the chest, round your back, curl your toes, push your butt to the sky, walk your hands back, and roll your body up. All right, now we're done for the thighs. We're gonna focus now on the glute. So we're gonna start with our right leg down and our left leg behind us. Most important part is your right leg, supporting leg to be bent. Part of the sequence is gonna be on the chair and then we're gonna take it down to the mat. So let's take our right leg bent, hinging front, your hips are squared. You're holding onto the chair, relax your shoulders, flex your foot, and you start to squeeze, lifting up into that left butt. Now it is important for you to draw your belly in and to make sure that that right leg stays bent. Little squeezes up into the butt. Not a crazy swing, it's just a little lift and lift. Drawing the stomach in, little squeezes up and up. Just take it here. Relaxing the shoulders again, keeping that right leg bent. You are gonna feel it a lot in that supporting leg. That's why the leg is bent. So you really get to engage from that glute. Let's take a full range of motion down, lift, down, lift up, down, lift up, down, and lift, down, squeeze up. You have it down, and lift, down, and lift. Four, three, two, one. Now, if, you're, if your chair is at a right height and you could place your hands down and relax your neck, I want you to do it for this series. Relax your shoulders and start to pulse your leg. 
If it feels uncomfortable, you can still keep your hands right on the bar, right on your chair, and keep on pulsing. If not, you're gonna relax your neck and pulse. Again, that right leg is bent. You really wanna feel that right glute working. Lift it up to pulse for four, three, two. Let's take that left butt all the way down and up. Take it down and up. Take it down and up. Nice job. Down, squeeze it up. Four more, four, three, two. Final one, let's hold it, pulse it up for three, four, two, and one. Take it all the way down to the mat. The leg you just worked is bent in half. You travel it down to your forearms. Draw the belly and start to pulse that left butt cheek up to the sky. Drawing in that stomach, little squeezes up to really get a nice final last burn on that leg. Lifting up and up. Let's point that toe, reach it to the sky. Take it up and up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. You flex it up, push that heel up and up. Give me 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Keep on pulsing. Let's take one to straight arms. Lifting that leg, hold. Extend that leg straight behind you. Hold. Draw the belly in and pulse it just like you did on the chair. Little tiny pulses reaching through that heel. Up and up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, full range of motion. Take it down, up, squeeze. Make sure not to rock the back. Squeezing just in that butt, lift. Down and lift. Five more, five. Squeeze, four, squeeze, three, two, Hold it up and pulse for five, up for four, final three, two, let's start to kick it out. Kick, kick. Now you can keep it here or you can start to rotate that body. Take your hand up to your hip. Extend that leg a little behind you and really drive and kick that leg. Kick and kick, kick for 10, nine little ones, eight, seven, six, that's it, five, reach it, four, three, Two, start to circle that leg. So lifting up and over, up and back. So if you're here, just start to circle that leg toward the midline of your body. Up, over, and over. For eight, seven, final six, five, final four, final three, final two, hold it, lift it, three, two, and rest. Nice job, let's stretch out your butt. So cross over any leg, open up that hip. We're gonna stretch both out. And stretch the other side over, open up. Take a breath. Good, I'm gonna take my chair over to the other side and we are going to get the other butt. All right, so this time your left leg is down, your right leg is behind you. You're going to hinge front, bend your left leg, square the hips. So both hips are facing down. Relax the shoulders, bending through that left leg. You take a little pulse, up with that right leg. Lift and lift. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed and it's just a tiny little squeeze. Important that your left leg is bent. You really want to keep it bent so you engage that left glute. Lift and lift with that right leg. Don't arch the back. Draw the stomach in. Feel it nice and tight. You're going to give me 10 more pulses here. Here we go. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's take it to a big range. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down. Nice job. Up. We're going to do the sequence twice through. And lift. Down. Don't swing it. Really at the top. Take it to a squeeze. Down and squeeze. That's it. Down and squeeze. Four more. Lift up. Three, lift up, two, squeeze up. Let's hold it up and pulse the leg for 10, nine, eight, seven little squeezes. You can do this five, four, 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 three, four, two. Maybe you can relax your head down if this feels good for your second set. If not, you can keep your hands right here. Relax that neck if you can. Pulse up through that right leg. Let's take it down, up, squeeze. Down, up, squeeze. Down, lift, press. There you go. Four more here. Reach. Three, 
two, one, deep hold in, pulse it up for four, for three, for two, hold. Let's take it down to the mat. Bend your left leg, right leg is gonna go up. Draw the shoulder blades down and pulse it up right here. So you're continuing to work that right glute. Continuing to draw the shoulder blades away from your ears, scooping the belly in, flexing that foot to the sky. A little movement makes a huge difference. You'll really, really feel that glute working. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you point that toe and lift it up, up, up. Nice job, 10, nine, reach that toe up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you flex that foot for your next set, you take it up and up, dig and squeeze. Beautiful job. You're going to keep on pulsing. You're going to get me on to get yourself onto straight arms. Lift and lift for three, for two, hold. Extend that leg straight. Square out the hips. Draw the stomach in. Lift the leg and start to pulse again. This is it, guys. You're almost there. You're home stretched. So you're doing exactly what you did on the chair. Little squeezes up into that right butt. Really controlling the movement, not swinging your leg, not arching your back. Let's take it to a full range of motion here. Tap the ground up, squeeze. Tap, exhale up. This is it, nice job. Tap, squeeze, tap, squeeze, tap. Woo, for five, four, crush it up. Three, two, last one, start to pulse it again. Okay, so you're gonna have an option here. Option one is just gonna stay in this position and start to kick your leg back. Option two is just to take it here. So whatever feels better for you, either you're on here kicking it or you're up here. Now let's just start to pulse the leg up. So again, whatever position you're in, you're squeezing still in that side butt for eight, seven, six, five, four, squeeze three, squeeze two, and one, you start to circle, pushing through that heel. I wanna make sure I'm on screen, pushing through that heel, squeezing your butt up and over. So again, if you're here, you're just circling up and over. Give me 10 more and you're done. Let's do this 10, nine, eight, seven, six, almost there, five, four, three, two, hold it up, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful, beautiful job. Cross your leg over. Give yourself a good stretch in that butt. And breathe. Other side, cross and stretch. Let's let your legs go out in front of you. Arms reach up to the sky. You're gonna slowly peel down one vertebrae at a time. Reach your arms behind you. Give yourself a nice stretch. And arms are gonna go up. You're gonna exhale, curl up. Reach for the toes. Relax your neck, take a breath. And you're gonna lift your arms up. Again, roll down, controlling your abs. Squeezing the inner thighs, one vertebrae at a time. Reach behind you. Arms go up, exhale, slide the ribcage down, curl and stretch. Arms go up, lower down. We're gonna do about a 30 second, maybe a minute ad series. Give me everything you have. We're just gonna work that core really quick. You curl it up and down, exhale. Your grand finale right here, guys. Curl it up. Give me eight. Exhale, seven. Shoulder blades go up. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bicycle. Tap and tap. I want you to tap the inside of your knee to start. Extend the opposite leg long and curl up and over. Let's start to take your elbow to the outside of your knee. You curl it over and over for four, three, two. Get your legs straight and start to tap your knees. Really control, reaching your legs long for three, two. Now bend the knees and just pull it in and out. Flex your feet, drive through the heels, open up your elbows, three, Two, let's start to grab the knees if you can. If not, keep your hands behind your head, that's fine. Last 10, nine, you're done. Eight, final seven, six, five,
Final five, four, three. Double leg stretch and you're done, I promise. In, lift the butt up, reach for three. Lift the butt up for two. Lift the butt up, hold it three, two, and rest. Oh, you survived. Nice job, everyone. Let's give you a nice straddle split. Opening up your legs since we did some thigh work and inner thigh work, quad work. We're just gonna stretch over. And the other way, stretch up and over. And then you're gonna crawl your hands into center. Relax down and take a breath. And you're gonna round up. Shake your legs out in front of you. Take one deep, deep inhale up. Exhale, fold your body front. And you are done. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this bar inspired workout. You rock. You killed it, I'm sure. You did so well. Thank you for joining me, for sweating with me, and I will see you next week.